गुड मॉर्निंग ह्यूमन सफ यूनिवर्स गुड मॉर्निंग सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर ऑफ भारत एज माई एक्सप्लोरेशन ऑफ सिप डेस्पर्स गोइंग ऑन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर अबाउट द न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट दैट बिकेम पार्ट ऑफ द सिप डेस्पर्स एंड दैट इज असिंकोनस मेथड ओके सो वट आई हैव डन आई हैव टेकन द सोर्स कोड ऑफ ए प्रोजेक्ट सी प्लस प्लस प्रोजेक्ट विच एक्चुअली डिस्कस्ड अबाउट कॉल बैक मेकेनिज्म सो आई हैव मेड द नेसेसरी चेंजेस इन दैट प्रोजेक्ट टू डेमोस्ट्रेट द एसिंकोनस टास्क ना वट इज द कॉल बैक मेकेनिज्म सपोज दैट इज अ वेरी लॉन्ग रनिंग टास्क यू नो देर ओके डाउनलोडिंग एन इमेज और डाउनलोडिंग ए बिग फाइल फ्रॉम द इंटरनेट सर्वर ओके so what the usually uh, software engineers uh, da, uh, does that it delegates this long running task to a background thread so in the background thread it goes on like the downloading the image and then whenever the task is complete that like whenever the complete the full uh, image is being downloaded full video has been downloaded it will notify the caller that is the front end thread that i have done uh, my task so you take the data and you do whatever you want to do so this is the basic uh, basic uh, you know definition of call back mechanism so today uh, we are going to explore we, we are going to uh, use uh, the c++ asynchronous uh, method which became part of the c++ 11 standard to uh, you know demonstrate this call back mechanism okay so here we go guys so uh, in the project there is a, in, an interface uh, that's called callback this is the interface callback which is having two virtual pure virtual functions one is the on start task and the other is the on finish task the the caller that is the main thing that the caller will basically implement this interface so that and through this interface it will have different states of the background task uh, whether it is going on whether it is finished or whether it is starting okay so basically it will define the different states of the background task. so what what does the caller do the caller is basically when the background task is going on caller is actually busy in doing his own task and then and delegate the long running task to a colleague and which will do the long running task in a background thread okay this is the main this is the main Uh, you know purpose of this callback mechanism and this is the two overriding functions from the interface okay so these are the two overriding functions from the interface on start task and on finish task so let's get into the callie part so callie is exact callie is this is the task which will be going on in the background and so here we have used the method called async task okay see look at it here we are doing using the c++ new concept called async task launch async this is this is the new concept in c++ which was part of the c++ 11th release okay and then we are basically uh, it 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 returns an a future task and with from that future task if we can actually get the different state of the task and if this is this get if this is if this is when the background task is finished see this task is actually returning true so when we are getting this value from gate that is if this is true that means if the background task is finished then you call the finish task on the main chain this is the this is exactly what is going on okay so through this callback interface it is basically calling the main threads on finish task implementation okay that is the callers main thread implementation okay so this so here is, is the main so where, where we are defining a caller and then we are asking the caller to do own task and not only that we are also asking caller to delegate the task to the callee okay so now we will have to understand this part launch async so there are two two uh, you know this launch async there are there are two uh, ways we can launch this background task one is the async and the other is the default if we launch this background task using async then it will be in a new background thread but if we run the launch uh, default it will be in the same thread so let's let's see it okay let's see how it works so let's build this project 
build the project and we will see how it works okay so now let's run it so here see the caller is doing his own test see, see this is now this time we are using the async parameter okay that means the background task will be in a different set see these two these two thread ids are different background thread id is this and the main thread id is this okay so this is the one aspect of the launch where we have launched the async task in with the async parameter okay so here two threads are actually going on okay the background thread and from the id you can see that the back id of the background thread and the id of the main thread are different that means the, the task is going on in a background thread okay now the other other part the, if we make it if we make it day food if we make it day food then the whole task will be done in the same thread okay so let's see this so file save all and then if we run it see see let's see so this is the main thread so this is the main thread and this is the you know background see both are both are actually same okay this, this id and this idea is the same so when we use the default part it will it won't create a new thread rather it will utilize the main thread or it will main thread it will it will be the background task will be done in the main thread so, so let's make it async again and it will be done in that case it will be done in the background thread so this is all about c++ new concept that is called async so you guys whoever is uh, you know familiar with the uh, uh, you know asynchronous task of android this is some sort of uh, you have already known all these things but this is the new concept in c++ and it was included in the c++ 11 release jai hind jai bharat